As many of you know, we on the executive board of the Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies program voted to change the name of our research center to the Center for Research in Feminist, Queer, and Transgender Studies, effective July 1st, 2021. This change was meant to signal a, a more inclusive understanding of who our center is for, and more explicitly, to demonstrate the centers and the program's commitment to solidarity, solidarity with all women and all sexual and gendered minorities across campus. Amidst the extraordinary rates of anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues among college students, we at GSWS and at Penn more broadly must be particularly conscious of our collective responsibility to one another, and particularly to the most vulnerable among us. This year, we at GSWS and the FQT Center have had a particular focus on trans affirmative policies. Universities, including Penn, must do better to establish the interpersonal and material support to fully affirm that trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students, faculty, staff, employees, and visitors are equal and valued members of our community. At present, all gender bathrooms remain scarce on our campus and many other university campuses across the country, with many buildings at Penn lacking even a single all-gender restroom. Gender-affirming health care remains difficult to access at Penn and many of our peer universities. The most recent two years of the Association of American Universities reports on sexual assault and misconduct show that transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming graduates and undergraduate students are subject to assault, harassment, and stalking at extremely high rates. In 2019, 21.5% of transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students reported experiencing unwanted sexual conduct at Penn. Many of our peer universities have even higher rates. These conditions in higher education are but a piece of a national climate in which the human rights and dignity of trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming persons are at best neglected and at worst willfully violated. State legislatures have flagrantly sought to reverse what small gains have been made in transgender rights by instituting discrimination against trans persons from banning trans-affirmative books in schools, to passing, passing bathroom bills, to prohibiting gender-affirming and life-saving health care, to barring trans athletes from sports. These legislative assaults are premised on the same transphobia that has proved lethal again and again in the United States, with assaults on and murders of trans persons and particularly trans women of color seeing an all-time high in 2021. We at GSWS hope that you will join us in acting in solidarity with all students, staff, workers, and faculty at Penn. Together we can create change in an increasingly bleak world. Thank you.